Nick Van Dutch here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a director's mode glitch. So it's not a money-making glitch, but this glitch allows you to buy everything absolutely for free in GTA Online. So the original founders are World Finance Gamer, Kevin, and Funk TC. The only downside with this glitch is that all the things you buy won't stick after you leave the session or eventually restart your device. So if you guys are ready, let's start the video. Before we really get started, make sure you set up three things in single player mode. You need to unlock the special character named Jesse. You can find him at the Del Piro Pier near the big puffo shop and he kinda looks like a hippie Jesus. What you need to do is then save the game. Second thing is, you need to have a job played so it shows up into recent activities. So it doesn't matter what kind of job it is, as long when you go to recent activities, you can um, hit the start GTA Online button. And the third thing is, the character Franklin inside the single player mode must own Grove Street Garage. So once you have set that up, let's start the glitch. Make sure to press start and head over to Rockstar Editor and start director's mode. Here you go. It should load up like this and what you need to do is hit actors and then go to online character and then select the character which you unlocked all the things that I just told you. So once you select your character, wait about for 7 or 8 seconds, walk around and then hit d-pad down and then select the trailer. Once you see this alert screen, hit accept and immediately hit the dashboard of your PS4. So what you need to do is head to your profile and go to recent activities like over here. And then scroll down to one of your latest jobs that you actually played on that has also a bar with GTA Online. So when I hit this one, let me see. Here you go, it's load up and here you go, start GTA Online. So you're gonna press that one and then hit cancel or decline when you see this alert screen again. So when you're on this screen, just hit back or just a circle and head over to actors and then special characters and then select Jesse which you unlocked earlier before in the single player mode. So when you hit Jesse, it will actually, uh, the menu will actually disappear. So that's a good sign. What you now need to do is press and hold the interaction menu for two seconds and then turn up your volume. Hit D-pad up five times when you hear the clicks, press X and then hit D-pad one one more time up and then hit X again. So once you have done that correctly, it will actually release your online character from the trailer as you can see on the screen. We just continue with the next step and that's actually similar like which we done before in step number four. So press the PS button again and then head over to your profile and then go to recent activities and then start up one of your latest job again which has an option with start GTA online. So I'm gonna look for it, here you go. So this is the one that we need. And once you select it, uh, start GTA online, you will see alert screen again, here you go. What you need to do is hit accept. When you're done correctly, you will see that you're actually spawning into the clouds and you will also see that on the right top corner, you will see the director's mode. So you're gonna see that all the time and that means you are inside the director's mode glitch. So here you go, we're gonna spawn back into our office. So we are now in the director's mode glitch and we're gonna start spending some money. Actually without actually spending the money. So that's a great thing about this glitch that we actually can buy everything what we want. I'm now in a public session and as you can see here we're not buying the cars that I don't have to pay for anything at all. So I'm gonna show you that they uh, deliver the cars and all the other things that I'm actually buying now and it won't cost me anything. So the special vehicles, I haven't unlocked that yet because I haven't bought a warehouse for it. So I can't buy that yet, but here you go, I'm gonna buy a boat again. 
and I'm gonna have it delivered so I'm gonna also buy an airplane so the gold one I don't have it as yet so I'm gonna buy this one also so as you can see the amount of money I still have is the same like when I started this video with so I'm gonna buy everything and I'm gonna have it delivered the only downside is which I already told you early before at the start of the video it won't stick so as soon when you leave the session or actually restart the game it will disappear without any loss of money so here you go I just got the first car delivered right over here the second one so the, the GP1 the hijack and then the Infernus so what I'm gonna do now is you can do absolutely everything what you want inside this director's mode glitch so you can take it inside the mod shop and have it fully upgraded and then drive it back again so as long as you are in this session you can do everything what you want you can buy everything um, it will actually stay there but uh, especially when you restart the game it will disappear again so maybe this is uh, some kind of a glitch that hopefully it will be perfectionized that actually we can find it a full money glitch for this one and that all the things that you're actually buying that it actually will stick around so that's not the case so that's a little bit of a shame but with this glitch yeah you can do everything what you want buy everything without paying a cent so as you can see here i got everything delivered i got all the upgrades on this car gp1 and you can still see here the money is still the same so they're not gonna charge me anything at all for it I'm gonna try uh, something uh, else um, I hear a lot of people are saying that as soon when you leave the session you will actually lose all your uh, purchases so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna find a new session and let's see what will happen so you can still see at the right top corner I'm still in director mode so that's a good sign so I'm now spawning back into a new public session and what I'm gonna do now is gonna head over to my assistant uh, no I'm gonna show you this first so the amount of money is still the same at the start of this video so I haven't lost any money at all so when I head over to my assistant when I uh, request my personal vehicle as garage number one you can still see that the cars are still there the GP1 the Rustin and the Infernus so they haven't disappeared even if I changed session so they stick with me okay so I'm gonna confirm that by going inside office garage number one and if it's still there so once arrived you can still see that the GP1 which I modified before the hijack is here and also the Infernus so they haven't disappeared when you change into public session so let's restart this game so I'm gonna shut down this application first and then restart it from scratch so we're gonna close this session and I'm gonna restart this game so according to the people on the internet on the forum they are talking about they even can't switch sessions so what I, I just did they they didn't get it so when you change the session inside a public session they will lose all the things that they just bought so that didn't happen to me so I don't know why that didn't happen to me but you will see here the alert screen that they couldn't load up the saved data so that's also correct what people are saying on the forum so when I hit continue it will actually uh, load a story mode for me so I'm gonna close this app again and gonna restart so from here on as soon as you hear the sirens and the, the glass breaking press and hold down the L1 and the R1 so it will actually recalibrate uh, the system for you for online mode so once it's uh, loading up inside the story mode like over here what you can see I'm gonna hit options and I'm gonna go to online and then uh, GTA online and press um, close friend session okay so just to confirm that the thing that I just bought early before are not there anymore so you also see this because we just recalibrated because when you're not doing that you will keep seeing that alert screen so once we have spawned back into our office so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head straight back to our office garage number one to see actually if our cars are still there Once we arrived in our site or garage, you can see that the cars are not here anymore. So it has been confirmed as long as you restart the game, 
the cars will disappear. So it's very funny for this glitch that you can actually buy a lot of things but it won't stick around. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching again. Nick from Dots, signing out.